Hey, good morning, YouTube. My name is Rachel. My store name is Lily Works, and I am a full-time stay-at-home mom, a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, Etsy, and Facebook Marketplace. And we have some shoe and jewelry and belt orders going out today. Um, wondering why I'm so casual with this very chunky statement necklace. Um, I actually just was testing some jewelry with my Presidium tester and this um, necklace just feels so nicely nice um, and so this actually is testing as smoky topaz so I put it on and it just feels so high quality it's probably worth at least a hundred dollars all these little smoky topaz uh, baubles but yeah, so neat. So yeah, let's get to the orders going out. Starting with the jewelry, I already pulled a couple. I still have to find this nurse, nurse brooch and Giorgio Armani glasses. Yes, I did sell some glasses. I think the nurse brooch is in here because I just listed it. I purchased a, um, look at how cute, it's a moral mushroom, um, a brooch lot from Shop Goodwill. And so I've been listing a ton of brooches and some of them have been selling. So this um, particular nurse brooch was not signed, but when I Google Lens it, I could figure out who the maker was. And I'll have it up on the screen for you guys who makes these. And I priced it pretty, um, comparable to others like it, but this one actually sold right away, and it might be because I think I put it as like a get well present or something along those lines. Alright. Hmm. Here we go, I found it. And it looks like it's crafted from other pieces of jewelry. Um, but yeah, like I said, the maker, I will put on the screen in the sold picture, but this is really, really cute. And this one sold for $13, buyer paid shipping, and I paid about a dollar in the Shop Goodwill lot. The Giorgio Armani glasses somewhere in the miscellaneous. Here are some glasses that are not here they are. So I think I paid about two dollars for these and they're like this faux tortoise shell vintage. And what people do is they buy these and then they pop out the frames and have um, an eyeglasses store put in their prescription so yeah I do not know the prescription at all and it doesn't even matter if the lenses are scratched up because people are putting in their own prescription and these sold I took a best offer of $35 and I think I paid about $1.99 at Goodwill for these glasses take forever to sell I don't think I'll be picking up glasses too much all right what else so here is not, that's not it. Where did it just go? Oh, here we go. Um, okay, look, you guys, this sold. 
Okay, so if you guys have seen, I will try to put the the um, screen sh the thumbnail, I should say, up on the screen of um, when I had shown this piece. It's a little brooch made out of polymer clay. It's by an artist, I think it's Loretta or something like that. Um, and she does nature inspired pieces that are really abstract looking and this is just so cute and I had him as my little buddy the entire jewelry haul. I believe I paid about a dollar for him, or maybe a 50 cents. Um, and I had priced it up and I had plenty of watchers and this morning someone offered me $15 and I didn't, I don't think I, I, I'm trying to remember how much I countered for, but basically the, um, buyer said this is, this is 15, $14.99 new, um, and then offered me 40. So if it's 14.99 new, why are you offering me 40? So, um, this is not 14.99 new, no ma'am. This, um, is more, uh, of a collector's piece and she has really, really interesting items. Some of her jewelry and stuff is in like over a hundred dollars. So yeah, but I am sad to see him go, but I, I am happy with the profit on this guy. So yeah, $40 and then the buyer also paid shipping. These I just listed, they do not have a maker's mark or anything, but any interesting clip-on type earrings I do list, sold for $9, uh, paid le less than a dollar at a Shop Goodwill lot, and they're just some dangle clip-on earrings. Here is a turquoise chip cobra pin. So it's just a small cobra and those are the little turquoise chips in there sold full price $14.99 I paid about a dollar in a jewelry jar I believe and then here is a gold tone and like a purple amethyst station faux pearl necklace and this sold for $20 and I paid $3.72 shipping making my earnings $16.28 and I got this one out of a jewelry jar and I think that's it for jewelry we can go on to the belts and then some shoes and I did just sell a scarf and some other boots eight vintage heart belt let's see um on Etsy not making a ton of sales on Etsy. I have over 500 listings on there currently. Uh, so, yeah, making some, but not a ton. All right, I think it was white. So it should be in here, in this white basket. Hmm. Okay, here we go. This is what that looks like. Really interesting. I think you like tie the end, one end on the heart. And sold for $25 on Etsy. I pay $3.76 shipping, making it $21.24. And I got this at the bins for about $0.50. Cents. I pulled some of these other belts already. This is a Steve Madden belt I picked up for $4.99 at Burlington. My Posher VA sent out an offer for $18, making my earnings $14.40. So not a ton of profit, about $9. Um, still profit though. Then Joseph A. Bank brown belt. This is a like a woven. Um, belt. It does have some wear on the gold tone vintage belt. Joseph A. Bank usually sells pretty quick for me. This one didn't, um, but it did sell eventually. Sold for $17 um, on Poshmark, making my earnings $13.60. Picked up at the bins for about $0.50. Cents. Here is a 
just a no name croc embossed leather belt size 38. It did have, um, it said made in America, made in USA. Sold for $18 on Poshmark, making my earnings $12.68. Picked this one up at the bins. And then here is the brown Lauren, Ralph Lauren belt that I had in my haul video when we went to Appleton. Um, this these belts were $1.99 at that Goodwill. So um, I took a best offer of $21 on eBay and the buyer paid shipping for this one. All right, so we're gonna go grab the shoes and a scarf and yeah. Okay, so first all we have, of all, we have these Calvin Klein heels. They sold for $10 on eBay. I got these for about nine dollars on threat in a thread up rescue box. Um, yeah, I just wanted to sell them to get some money back on the box. And this is not a brand that I normally would pick up, even at the bins. They're in okay condition, so I ended up selling these anyways. So, yeah, those sold. These are the Dance Go Mary Janes, and I thought I had made a huge mistake. Um. Yeah, so it says Dance Go right there. I did pick these up at the bins for about $2. They sold for $34.99 full price on eBay. And when I went to go delist it from other platforms, I did not find these on other platforms. And so I was like, did this sell already? And then I couldn't find them. So I made sure that I found them. They were in a really random spot. I'm so glad I found them so I don't have to cancel the order. But yeah, these are those Dance Go Mary Janes. Let's get the Clark's Camel. Those are right here. Here we go. This I actually thought might have been stained. These are those crepe sole chukka boots. But these, and then I realized that they were actually um, camel. So these are in great condition. These sold, I took a best offer of $50 and I paid about $3 at the bins. Let's grab the other one. Here's the other one. And the buyer paid shipping on eBay for these. Let's see what else? Some Nike Zoom. Hmm, these might be over here too. Since we're over by the sneakers, they are like a. There they are. Up here. My husband has off today for Easter, and he normally never has off. So it's been nice. He is putting our chinoiserie wallpaper back up. Post a picture here. The first round that we put up stayed up for a couple months and then started peeling down. So I contacted the company on Etsy and um, they sent us a, after a lot of back and forth, they sent us um, some new stickier version. I had to pay a little bit um, for that, but Hopefully this one actually stays on our wall. Anyways, these are some Nike Zooms. These um, sold for $40 on eBay. I took a best offer. These came in a th thread up rescue box. I did put these through the wash and turned out pretty good. A little bit dirty, but overall pretty good. And yeah, about, um, nine dollars in those thread up rescue boxes i have some euro soft clogs some sandals lucky brand heels mark fisher these came up in a thread up rescue box as well these joseph seibel clogs that my mom actually bought and picked out so she'll be happy that those sold. Some yellow keens. Those are here. Right here. Okay. So here are those yellow keens. These are some great hiking shoes. Uh, they have the toggle lace up system. And I think they're bungee. Yeah, these are bungee. 
Um, these are like an outdoor hiking trail shoe. And these sold for $45 on Poshmark, making my earnings $36. And I did pick these up at the bins for two. And then some Teva sandals. And I just sold some Cole Haan boots. So yeah, let's go grab those. Okay, so here is the loft um, blanket scarf and it sold next day. I'm so surprised. I did some retail arbitrage on ThreadUp's website. I paid $3.50. It sold for $19.99. It did have a few pulls. I disclosed that. I don't really like listing blanket scarves, but uh, it sold, so that was great. All right, the Joseph Seibel. These are the ones my mom picked up for $6.99. Um, and that sold for $30 on Poshmark, making my earnings $24. So this was my mom's first find and sale that she did all. I mean, besides listing it, I mean, this was, she had to call me and text me and send me pictures and everything. So she's probably pretty proud of herself for um, the sale right here. And then the Lucky Brand shoes, these have been sitting for a bit. These sold for $17.99 on eBay. Picked them up at the bins for $2. These are only size five and a half. These size are these Mark Fisher shoes, but they're so cute. And yeah, sometimes the size five and a half does sell. And it sold for $30 on um, Poshmark, making my earnings $24. Like I said, I got that from a rescue box. And then these Euro Soft Clogs by the brand Soft, S-O-F-F-T. If you can see that right in there. I'm in so All right, so we're back. My phone actually died. And we have the baby. Are you gonna help mama? I'm gonna show everyone your toes. <gasps> Look it. He is five months old now. Are you five months? And he had his first Easter. Yeah. And um, his ultrasound looked better. His kidney um, is now holding 46 milliliters. It's supposed to only hold eight, but um, but it's going down because it went down by 10 milliliters. So we are still holding off on the surgery for his little kidney and hopefully, we're hoping that it corrects itself. So, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna show you guys more shoes. Um, anyways, it cut off at these Joe's, or I'm sorry, these um, Eurosoft. Eurosoft is the, um, what is it? The offshoot, the line of soft it's a little bit lesser quality um but these these still sold for 18 got them at the bins yes you helping mama these beach by matisse sandals sold they have sold before they're right here um and someone returned them just because they didn't like them they're like an espadrille raffia can't really hold them up because gideon wants to be held Try some more. These Teva sandals sold on Poshmark for $29. They are right here. Got those at the bins. Probably paid around a dollar. Um, but I put two dollars. So my earnings were $23.20. So a nice lightweight pickup. I like to pick those up when I find them. Teva does well during the summer. And then lastly, I'm just going to show you guys these Cole Haan boots. I haven't printed off the label yet, but these sold for, um, thank you, baby. These sold for $30. I took a best offer and I have to pay shipping. So I'm thinking shipping is going to be around $9 for these boots. And these are nice waterproof um, leather sold Cole Haan boots. And these actually took a bit, <laughs> the baby knocked my phone down. These took a little bit to sell, um, so yeah. Like these kind of videos, make sure you subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Where's your thumbkin? There we go. Make sure to give us a thumbs up, comment down below. I um, love hearing from you guys, and I will see you guys next week. Thanks, bye.